Do you need a sewer hose kit for your RV? Well, this is a great one, and that's what I'm fixing to show you. Hey y'all, I'm Cole. Welcome back to Younger Every Day. So basically, we sold most our stuff in Texas, bought a fifth wheel, packed up the kids and the dog, and headed west. Now I'm going to school, and we're loving this crazy life. On this channel, we share tips and tricks for RV living, take you on amazing adventures, and share product reviews, kinda like this one. So if you haven't already, click subscribe and join the Younger Gang so you can become a part of our community. And don't forget to ring that bell so you never miss out on any of the fun. If you haven't seen some of our other videos, you can click right up here to check them out. Today, Let's talk about sewer hoses, the nitty gritty of RV life. Whether you're a weekend warrior or a full timer, you gotta have one, you gotta use it, and a lot of people don't wanna mess with it or even talk about it. We've had a couple, this is our second actually, and I really think this is the one that you might like to get if you're looking for a sewer hose. It's the same brand as the one we had before, which is Rhino, but this one's a little bit tougher, and I think it might be the way to go. Before we get started, I want to tell you this is the 20-foot Rhino Extreme RV Sewer Hose Kit. Like I said before, this is our second kit. We're going to open it up and see what's inside. As we open it up, we've got some caps. These are really important for your sewer hoses. So you can cap them off when you're not using them. We've got one hose here with the four-in-one adapter that goes into your sewer right there and then we've got the other extension hose so this is a stiffer and tougher material than the other sewer hose I had bought before which was Rhino we've got a lot of use out of it but one of our hoses developed a hole and if you'd like to check out how I fixed that you can click up here to see that the reason I ordered this is that I was tired of moving one hose the one good hose we have back and forth between our two sewer outlets every time I needed a dump so I wanted to get something that get me back to where I have one hose from each outlet connected to a Y adapter going into the sewer. And the reason I really needed all this is the old one blew out of the back of the truck while we were traveling. And that's a story for another time. First, let me show you our old setup. So this is our old Camco Rhino, I think it was a 20 foot sewer hose kit. It came with the four in one adapter, came with these two hoses, actually, came with two 10 foot hoses. I purchased an extra five foot hose uh, just due to needing a little bit extra reach. And then also purchased this Y fitting so that I could connect our two outlets into one sewer dump. Let me show you what this looks like compared to our new one. So the same kind of bayonet fitting, it's really great. I like this, uh, but it's just a little tougher material compared to the accordion material used on the other stuff. The box says that these are crush resistant. I don't know if these old ones are crush resistant or not. We've gotten a lot of use out of them, but we needed something to cover the gaps left from the lost hose. This kit came with a transparent elbow and a four in one adapter. I already have those installed on my Y fitting. So I'm going to leave those. These are actually really good. In fact, most recently I had to go find one and buy it separately because uh, ours had been lost when it blew out of the truck. It was a bummer. So, you know, it's good to have one of these around extra. So I'm gonna keep that one. I am gonna go ahead and put these hoses on so we can see what that looks like. Again, I've got two 10 foot hoses. They ought to fit perfectly. Right now you can see with my five foot hose up front, I just can't quite make it. My other 10 foot hose has a hole and then the old hose I had got blown out of the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and connect the first hose to our Y adapter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and extend that on our sidewinder up to our front sewer outlet, which is our front gray tank connected to the shower, as well as our front black tank. If you're new to RVing, one of the things that gets asked a lot is, you know, how do I hook up my hose? Do I just lay it on the ground? What do you do? I'll tell you, these sidewinders or any other device that will bring your hose up off the ground and angle it toward the dump toward the sewer is really good. So I'll put a link in the description below for what we use. One thing you always want to do when you're messing with your sewer hoses on an RV is make sure that your valves are closed. I've heard a lot of horror stories of people not realizing their valves were open and getting sprayed with gray or even worse, black water. Let's hook up the second hose. Take it on the sidewinder as well. I just want to take this opportunity to share a couple of tips for your RV sewer hoses besides making sure your levers are closed before you start messing with things. One is you want to try to minimize the number of twists and turns so I try to get as straight of a shot to the sewer dump as I can 
gentle curves are good. Sharper curves are gonna cause things to maybe back up a little bit. Secondly, you wanna make sure that you don't leave your valves open. Probably the most common question I hear about RVing is, can I just leave my valves open? And the answer to that question might surprise you. Many people say, don't leave any valves open until you're ready to dump. Let me just say, don't leave black tank valves open because in your black tank, you need liquid so that everything in there breaks down and can flow freely out when you're ready to dump. If you leave your valve open, it'll all get dry and you'll get a backup and then you'll have a lot of problems trying to get that cleaned out. So you wanna make sure that you don't leave your black tank open. Now, gray tank, people have differing opinions. Some people like to keep them closed and then dump after they dump their black tank. Other people like to leave them open. It really kind of depends on your preference. For us, I like to leave the grays open, but when I'm getting ready to do a black tank dump, which for us is about once a week, I like to shut the valve off on our gray so I can build up a little slug of gray water to then rinse the sewer hose out behind that black tank dump. With six people, we just fill up our gray tanks too quickly. Between, I mean, we have a gray tank that has the kids sink and our kitchen sink on it. That fills up pretty fast. And then the other gray tank is our sink and our shower. And there's just too many of us, those fill up too fast. So I like to keep that open so we can flow that down the drain. But I do like to close it up so that we can use it to rinse the hoses after I dump the black tank. In fact, we have just such an occasion today where I have some gray water saved up because my hose didn't reach when we got here and I was like, okay, time to break out that other hose and we can run some clear water through there and you can kind of see what that looks like. <laughs> so there you go. A tip I didn't think I would offer, which is make sure that you get your sewer connection on all the way. I didn't think that was off. I'm really thankful that wasn't black water. Ooh, it stinks though. So that wasn't on all the way, huh? I've never had that happen. I hope you enjoyed this quick review and unboxing and a little bit of discussion around black tank and gray tank usage. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and let us know you liked it. Don't forget to click subscribe and join the younger gang so you can become a part of our community. Click right over here to check out some of our other videos. So, getting one sewer hose and then having an issue where it blew out of the back of the truck and it was in a container and everything. Ordering another one and then getting that all set up so we can share it with you. That's just another way we're living younger every day. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.